a devastating hack, crippling one of the world's most powerful entertainment studios. Sony Pictures Entertainment tells CNN it's still investigating what it calls a very sophisticated cyber attack. The FBI is on the case. Five of its new movies, including Fury and the remake of Annie, were posted on illicit websites. And very sensitive, confidential information started to appear online, including the multi-million dollar salaries of top Sony executives, social security numbers of employees. Some staffers had to work with pen and paper. These people are prodding and provoking Sony, and they're doing it deliberately. Uh, they are, this is not kind of thing where they just want to go in and steal some movies. They're trying to stick it to Sony and to particular Sony executives. A group calling itself the Guardians of Peace has claimed responsibility for the hack, but it's not clear if that group was really behind it. A source at Sony tells us the company is looking into the possibility that hackers working for North Korea could be behind the attack. Sony's upcoming release of the movie The Interview, a comedy about a plot to kill North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, is cited as a possible provocation. You want us to kill the leader of North Korea? Yes. What? The North Korean regime has called the movie terrorism, an act of war, a moral attack on its leadership. Analysts say the North Koreans have a dedicated hacking capability that they've been working on for a few years. And they've largely targeted commercial sites in South Korea. They haven't really gone after the United States as much, so this would be new if the reports are true. The interview was not one of the Sony movies leaked out by the attack. One cybersecurity expert says that may point away from Kim's regime. North Korea would be, would be wanting to attack this particular movie and the people responsible for this particular movie. This is a much broader attack. Now, there were reports today that some Sony employees have gotten emails from hackers threatening family members of the Sony employees. We asked Sony about that. We just, a couple of seconds ago, got a statement saying, quote, we understand that some of our employees have received an email claiming to be from GOP. That's the Guardians of Peace, the group that claimed responsibility for this hacking attack. The statement says we are aware of the situation and are working with law enforcement. Wolf, so there may maybe something something to these reports that Sony employees got threatening emails. Pretty chilling when you think about it.